Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a couple of effects. I'm going to show you how to do the boom effect with the closing black bars. And also I'm going to show you how to muzzle your music um, so you can have some nice new montage effects. So um, the black bars and the boom looks like this. So it looks like that. So if you open up Sony Vegas, import your clip. Um, as you can see here, I've got the clip there and it's audio. I just happened to trim it down. Um, I've got my music on the bottom and then also I've got this sound effect here which is the boom sound and I'll put it in the description for downloading it's called bonus boom um, basically you just add that to where your gunshot is and it'll sound a bit like this okay um, you can change obviously the volume to make it stand out more um, change the gain and so on um, a nice effect to do is is if you right click and copy um, paste it before the actual uh, boom effect itself um, drag it right click hit reverse um, and if we just get rid of that and drag it up this way and just change the fade what that'll do it'll do like a build up to the shot like that okay now what we want to do is we want to um, get the black bars so I use that as a guide so that boom uh, the build up as a guide for my black bars so on the clip um, where the boom effect starts I split it and where I want the effect to end so after my shot about there uh, split it again so we're going to be working in this little area here if you want to hit event pan crop and you need to make sure that both of these are selected um, where the you want the effect to start obviously is on the first part of the boom where you want the um, effect to end obviously you've got it split so we're going to work it all the way to the middle so if you want to click to the middle of the clip where the um, obviously the boom effect actually um, comes into play um, you want to hold control and drag this bottom bar up and you see on my preview that the bars are moving like that. Now I have it till it's about that kind of width um, and like I said because it's starting from there you've got a keyframe that's on default right there so as you're moving in you'll see as I, on the preview the bars moving in and then when the effect actually hits so there's the shot right there I'll fade the effect out so um, I wanted the effect to end about there um, just hit default like so so what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see the black bars slowly move in and then when this shot actually happens um, the effect will basically uh, open back out again um, now I like to have like some kind of like spin blur or something in that effect what you're gonna see here is obviously okay so that's how you do the black bars effect now I prefer to have the um, the effect uh, this part to uh, be a lot shorter than what this one is here so the bars open up quicker um, that's just me so like that um, now I'm just going to show you how to quickly muzzle your music um, it's quite a nice effect to have so I'm just going to say um, choose there so you want to split your audio where you want it to start where you want the effect to end I'll do is I'll move my music over there so I'm gonna uh, have this part muzzled here you want to hold control drag and drop it underneath like so get rid of that part if you need to um, and now you want to hit uh, the traffic at, uh, FX go on the track EQ and now you want to drag the one over the three something like that and what you're gonna see here um, you want to drag the two all the way down the three across till it's about over the 80 kind of mark but as, as long as it remains on the zero going along this line so you want it on zero and on 80 the one needs to be on 1.2k and around like the plus 13 mark and the four you basically move all the way down here like that to the 160 mark all the way down to minus 15 what that'll do that will mute this part of the the song here and what you can do is if you delete that part drag uh, this first part in and drag this uh, last part in and what you could do is you could fade the effect off like this and then you can fade 
that part like that. And then what you're going to hear now is that this part is faded, so you've got the boom effect. Okay, so as you can see, that is actually a really nice um, sequence of effects. And um, once obviously you've added all your color corrections and all your spin blares, your um, your your linear blares, things like that. Once you've got all of these nice sound effects going, um, you can make a really nice montage out of it. So I'll just show you obviously the preview of it again. And so you've got your boom effect, and you've got the build up to the boom effect, and then you've got your muzzled music here. And um, what I'll do is I'll show you uh, the the uh, track EQ once again. Okay, so that's it, and I'll go once uh, go over the track EQ once again. So if we have it on the default, because this does get a little bit confusing, hold the one, put it up to about 13 on this side, and it wants to be about 1.2k, so I have it above the, th the 3. Drag the 2 all the way down, down to the bottom, drag the 3 on the 0 line over to the 80, so you've got 80 there and you've got 0 along there, and the 4 goes above the 160, um, on the minus 15 so that will muzzle the music okay so you got your boom effect that will be in the download link then that's the muzzle um, and then your black bars is obviously um, it's basically keyframing uh, where you want the effect to start and end okay so that's it for today guys and I'll catch you guys later